Okay, how's it going guys? Connor is here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Desolation. Last time, things happened. This time, more things are going to happen. A small tree. That is not a small tree. That tree's bigger than me. What do you mean small? Uh, anyways, yeah. So last time we were on a boat, we uh, uh, the boat got the boat exploded uh, from a bomb. We landed on this island. We got our starter. We also have a shiny Pidgey, which I leveled up a bit. Got it to eight because I kind of wanted it to learn Gust, but it hasn't learned Gust yet. Uh, then we have Venipede to level eleven. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we had to go through this forest to make it to the town. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey, there's a Pansage up there. Is that what's her name's Pansage? Ava? I would fight these things, but there's no healing item. There's no healing machine close by, and I don't have any healing items. So I kind of don't want to. Ooh, that's free XP though. What are the chances this thing has a struggle bug? If it just hardens, that's fine with me. It's free XP. The freest of XP. Here we go. Perfect. Ooh, Gust! Ask and you shall receive, dude. There we go. Now we're ready to take on all the bugs we want. Oh, Mark. Well, it looks like you caught up. As you might be able to see, there's n way too much debris for us to go this way. We'll have to find another way around. Unless you're up for me throwing you over. Uh... Oh, you are? Well, too bad. You shouldn't be surprised that I don't want to touch you. Come on, there's another way through the just south of here. If I'm feeling generous, I might wait there for a little bit so you don't get lost. Talking about the tree? It's probably talking about the tree. Ooh, more free XP, but this one might be... Wait, I don't know if this... I can actually use Gust. I don't have to touch it. I knew that one's poison. I didn't know if I wanted to touch it or not. Didn't have to, though. This is it. I'd stand back unless you want your face fried off. I mean, I can't imagine it looking much worse. Oh, my God. Anyway, stand back. Vulpex use Ember. Well, then. Time for me to go. I'd rather you didn't get lost, but I wouldn't be surprised if you do. I'll put this down for when you screw up again. Oh, thanks. Well then, smell you later. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Connor. You're the best. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's mess these bugs up. Ooh, Weedle. Ooh, Starly. Nice. Good job, Pidgey. I don't think Pidgey will stay long term, but it's fine for now because it looks cool. Mess that up for the free XP. Nice. Weedle. No. I don't really want to fight. Really, now. Is that why you're fighting? <laughs> Come on. Nice. Uh, we'll let Venipede handle that, because Pidgey's weak. Let's go for the rollouts. Fantastic. Alright, let's go check what's going on with this uh, Pansage. The Pansage looks oddly playful. And it fled. Ooh. Aw, oh, it's a Pokeball. I was hoping it'd be a healing item. I gotta go back and heal. Oh, these encounters. I don't mind the free XP ones. The free XP ones are fine. I wonder if we can catch that Pan Sage. I wouldn't want to use it long term. Oh, I don't. I shouldn't be fighting this. I wouldn't want to use it long term. But again, it'd be something nice to have short term. Because we are weak to. We are double weak to rock. If we run in, run into a rock type, we are pretty pretty screwed with a fly and a bug type. So, wouldn't be a bad idea. Where did this pansage go, by the way? 
I'm gonna check to see if he's down here. So I can get him on the team right just for now, that'd be nice. Replace him later on with a better grass type. Yeah, I don't see him down here. All right, maybe he's up ahead somewhere. Ah, oh, so much grass. We are in a forest, but damn. Yeah, yeah, Krigatot. Uh, we gotta go over the bridge. Ooh, rock. Is that a vile plume? There you are. I saw this earlier. It's a vile plume, sleeping like a baby. And there's no way I can get Vulpix to force it out. It's like the vile plume doesn't notice at all. But luckily for you, I have an idea. Listen to this. Apparently, in another region, vile plume also sleep like this, sometimes for months at a time. Villagers countered this by using a tropical powder native to the region, spice powder. Spice powder would wake up the vile plume and make them move, move away. I bet the villagers here use the same method to move the vile plume out of the way, right? Not right. Honestly, use your brain for a second. Why is the vile plume sleeping right in everyone's path? Could it be the work of someone else? Or is it just to annoy you? I wouldn't be surprised if it were the latter. Come on, follow close. This tree's blocking the way down. I'm gonna go check it out. Vulpix, use Ember. Good job, Vulpix. Time to see what's down here then. Ah, oh, this is really starting to drag out. Okay, I need to check this area out first. What's down here? Ooh, more free, free XP, I'll take it. Oh, hi. Oh, it's the Pan Sage. Ooh, that's not good. Please don't hit me with an electric attack. Thank you. Sunkern, easy. Ooh, nice. We've got a healing item. And he's gone again. Okay. Where'd he go? It's not down here. Hopefully he's this way. Ooh. A polywag! Ooh, yes, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't take him out. Do not take him out. Can this thing tackle me at all? I kind of wanted to, so just so we can get poisoned. So it'll be easier to catch. Oh, oh, okay. Again, temporary, temporary, but we do need something to deal with our double rock weakness. Swift Swim. Can I get something better? I don't know. Uh, boosted Speed, Lower Defense. That's fine. I just need the Water Gun. All I need was the Water Gun. Uh, I'm going to head back and heal. I don't know why there's Poliwag in the forest, by the way, but, uh, you know, I'm not complaining. Let's go back and heal just in case we have to fight somebody in that hut. Please. Please. Just let me go. And real quick... Actually, we don't even need the Pan Sage anymore now that we... Uh, I'm going to check for it anyways. But we don't really need it. I was only going to take it because I needed the... Uh, something to deal with our rock weakness. But uh, we have Poliwag for that now. I just want to make sure it's not down here. I want to finish the uh, little side quest with it. Of just chasing it around everywhere. I wonder if I should put Poliwag in my first slot now, just to level it up. I think that'll be a good idea. What's the speed on it again? 19 speed. It's actually pretty fast. I didn't realize Poliwag was that fast. It's kind of crazy. And it'll get faster in the rain. Please. Here we go. Who are you? Get out of here already. Please, just calm down already. You don't understand. Get out. It's not safe. 
Could you stop shouting just for one second? Stop this nonsense. Leave. For God's sake, hold on, lady. We don't want to fight. We're not here to rob you. We just want to get through this jungle. Mark needs their wee friends, and I need my gym. Wow. But your goddamn vile plume is blocking the way. Vile plume? Oh, of course. Why didn't you say so? You've got to be kidding me. I'm truly sorry. I have too many run-ins with those thugs to trust strangers. The vile plume. Yes, of course. You need a special powder to deal with the vile plume. You can get some powder from the village. Perhaps I could fetch some for you. I'll get it myself. I can't be bothered waiting. Wait, before you go, I would like to ask a quick favor. You know, in exchange for me letting you pass. Ah, uh, seriously? Yep, Mark is listening. My home is the gate to our village. I am the gatekeeper. My name is Lyra. Gatekeeper? That's dramatic. Seems like a little hut to me. It looks like crap in here. Why would you want this job? I, I, I wouldn't, but I have no choice. I have been sentenced here by our chief. Ha! Sentenced? Look, lady, I don't really have time for this. Please, take me seriously. The people of my village and the chief himself declared my husband a traitor. They took him away and sentenced me to this outside post. Spare me the drama. So you're telling me that the lovely chief guy sentenced you for what exactly? My husband dishonored our family. This post was my only remaining option. Dishonored the family? Sounds ridiculous. All I've heard from your other friends running around the place is that the kooky dude is a saint. Why would he dish out a punishment for such a dumb reason? Chief Kooky is a great man. I must trust his reasoning. So you're telling me that your husband was made a villain for, like, no reason? And you're cool with that? Chief Kooky, judge... Ah, oh, I hate to say it, but I don't like this. Looks like I might have to dirty my hands again. I think I might go check out this little party of yours. No, do not go down there if you plan on... Ha! I'm getting the powder, obviously. Don't kid yourself into thinking that I'm here to help. Anyway, I'm out. Mark, come on. Wait, my favor. What now? Since you're going down there, I would appreciate it if you could see my home for me. What? Why? You're not allowed down there anyway. I just want to see that my home is okay. And then my husband. Yeah, no thanks. I have better things to do. Mark might check it out. They're into doing peasant jobs. Either way, I'm out. <laughs> wow, does this work? Oh, it does. That's... That, that, that doesn't seem like it should work. Okay. Uh, alright, cool. Ooh, what is that? Free potion! Caterpie, uh, no. Oh, cave time. What can I find in here? That's a shiny young goose. Dude, what are the shiny, and what are the shiny rates in this game? I've already found two of them. I don't think I want a young goose, but that's crazy that I found a shiny one. What can I find in here? We have Poochiena, we have Young Goose. What else? Another Poochiena. Not a huge fan of Poochiena. Another one. Okay. If I could find a ground type, that'd be nice. Let's give it like three more encounters. We're only getting Poochiena though. And that one rare Young Goose. But mostly Poochiena. Let's give it one more encounter. If it's a Poochiena, I'm leaving. If it's a Poochiena, I'm leaving. That's it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't need this place anymore. Oh, hey. Mark, I, uh... I didn't think it would be so dark. Uh, it's not like I'm afraid of the dark or anything like that. But, uh... Maybe while we're down here, we could work together, yeah? Come on, let's team up. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, don't slow me down. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Grubbin! Ah, uh, we already have a bug type, but I really want to use a Vicavolt. It isn't Vicavolt doesn't turn into flying, does it? I don't think it does. I think it stays bug electric. 
Yeah, bug electric. Dang it. I really want to use a Vigavolt, but I don't really think I want two bug types. So we're going to have to pass, unfortunately. I really want a Vigavolt, though, dude. Dang. That's unfortunate. Hello? Books? You people actually read? I'll pretend I didn't hear you for the benefit. Uh, but yes, I am the knowledge keeper of our village. What is it you seek? I don't know about Mark, but I want to know how this little village of yours started. Go on, tell me all about this chief of yours. As you wish. When Kuki was a young boy, he awoke on the shore, alone and afraid. Yawn. He ran into the jungle seeking shelter and stumbled upon this cave. He began building a shelter, a home here. Before long, another man became stranded here. Kuki saved his life. Kuki realized that instead of leaving and rejoining society, he wanted to stay here and help everyone who became lost in the jungle. And so he began this community. He opened all our eyes to how we should be living. I view him more than a human being. He saved my life. I owe him everything. Well, that was boring. How'd you learn all that? Why, from Kuki's journal, of course. Mind if I take a look? I, I don't actually have possession of it anymore. Huh, figures. Since Lyra's husband betrayed us, Kuki had no choice but to hide the knowledge. Otherwise, he would risk his secrets falling into the hands of an outsider. What I have told you is the truth. Nothing more, nothing less. Wow, yeah, I totally believe you. Let's go, Mark. Hmm. So what I'm guessing is maybe the husband found out. There's wild Pokemon in here? Okay. Uh, I guess he found out, you know, about Kuki's lies and, dece and deception. And he tried to tell the people. But Kuki didn't let that happen. Instead, he called him a traitor. And, uh... You know, imprisoned him or something, probably. I can't see well in the dark, so you're leading the way, noob. Don't make us lose, all right? This is already such a drag. We need to find clues, so let's ask around. Unacceptable! Defend the chief! <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, Cascoon and Burmy. I got the Cascoon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Teamwork. Ooh, hypnosis. Of course that thing's gonna keep protecting. Oh my god. Come on. You withdrew? Okay, that, that works. Ah, he must really love this Burmy dude. All he does is protect and withdraw and protect and withdraw. There we go. Ooh, bubble. Why, wait, why did we learn bubble we already have water gun? What the heck? Does bubble have the same base power? I think it might. Yeah. Same thing, but it, it also has the chance to lower speed, so I think that's actually better. So I'll take it. Uh, okay. Hello? Ah! Hey, scrub! It's question time. Goodness. Why are you, who are you and why are you, what are you doing in my house? Hey, I'm asking the questions here. You see any weird folk in black masks running around here? Oh, those people. I mean, know nothing. Seriously? You basically just admitted that you know what I'm talking about. Chief says we're not supposed to talk about the fox. I mean, those people. We've learned to trust him, and he really is something else. Really? This chief again? Sounds pretty weak if you ask me. Kind of funny that he's cooped up in here. Okay, is there anything in here? Not really, okay. 